Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to do the Arsenal player ratings versus Burnley as party shines but Xhaka error cost the Gunners. So we're going to look at how the Gunners got on individually in their Premier League match away at Turf Moor. So the first person is Burnt Leno and he seems to have escaped most of the blame for his role in Burnley's equaliser. But the decision to play the ball to Granit Xhaka under such pressure was appalling. He dealt well with the arrival and aerial threat Burnley posed in the second half and made two great saves, which was enough to redeem himself overall, so he deserves a 6 for his performance. Next up, we got Callum Chambers and he did pretty well on his first Premier League start since 2019. He didn't offer enough going forward, but that was to be expected given that he was a centre-back playing out of position on the day. And I thought it was a good start for Callum Chambers, but we need someone that's more attacking. So for his performance, I'm going to give him a 6. Next up, we got David Luiz. And he also played some lovely long balls forward when given the opportunity to play out from the back. He also dealt well, also with the well-known aerial threat Burnley pose. And he was crucial at one point in my opinion and for his performance he deserves a 6. Next up we've got Pablo Mori, another composed outing for the Spaniard who rarely looks phased by the challenges the Premier League throws up for him. He's good on the ball, he's good in the air and he's good all round and for me he should be a regular starter for this Arsenal team and he deserves a 6 for his performance. Next up we've got Kieran Saini. He is not at his rampaging best, but a decent display from the Scottish international. Defensively, solid, if not offensively, excellent. So for his performance, he deserves a 6. Next up, we got Thomas Partey. A sensational starting return for the Ghanaian to the Arsenal midfield. His role in playing out from the back for Aubameyang's goal was sensational. And his quick passing was excellent throughout. And I thought he was one of the best performers on the pitch, so I'm going to give him an 8 for his performance. Next up, we got Granit Xhaka. I mean, what can you say that hasn't already been said about Xhaka's error? The Swiss international has now made more individual errors and mistakes leading to goals than any other player since he arrived at Arsenal in 2016. Has been good in recent weeks. But yeah, this was horrific. And it's fair to say, I'm not being harsh at all, but he was the worst performer on the pitch and he deserves a 4 for his performance. Next up, we got Bukayo Saka. And it was not a great afternoon for the 90-year-old because he missed a couple of good chances in the first half and he committed a series of unnecessary fouls in the second. And I thought it was one of his poorest performances in terms of Bukayo Saka. And for his performance, I'm going to give him a 5. Next up, we got Martin Erdegaard, and I thought it was a quiet outing for the Norwegian who grew frustrated because it was his inability to pick the Burnley defence apart in the second half and began taking pot shots from distance. And we could clearly see he just couldn't be asked at one point, and he deserves a 5 for his performance. Next up, we got Willian. And it looks like the, the Brazilian is now the Gunners' joint top assister this season after laying on another goal for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He was part of another decent performance from Willian. He was probably unlucky to be taken off, so for his performance he gets a 7. Next up, we got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. A great first half display from the Arsenal captain, as well as the goal. The Gabon international link play very well to play in Saka on a couple of occasions. He was almost anonymous in the second period though. So for his performance, it's fair to say he deserves a 7. And for me, he should have been the captain and led this team for a comeback. Next up, we got Alexandre Lacazette. He was curiously brought on as a number 10 in the second half. And he didn't do much other than make lots of noise when being fouled. So for his performance, he deserves a 5. Next up, we got Nicola Pepe. He missed his kick for the best chance of the match near the end, but he could have won the Gunners two penalties at the same time. It was a strange performance, but he has to take these big opportunities. And I thought if he got that shot, all-important goal, 
Arsenal would have been happy right now, but these things happen with Arsenal and he deserves a 6 for his performance. And finally we got Dani Ceballos and he came so so close when he hit the post to claim a late winner, but he came on too late to do much else, so he deserves a standard 6 for his performance. Hopefully Arteta will be able to build this squad forward, hopefully the mo motivation and determination will be there from this game onwards. For me, the league is done and if Arsenal are going to do anything, they're going to fight for the Europa League places. But other than that, guys, it's been sad for me, but you guys remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.